what's up YouTube? It's your boy Proud to Carry and I'm back with another one. As always, man, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, smash that like button, subscribe, comment, click that post notification bell so you can always stay updated when I'm dropping videos. And if you already been on the channel, you already proud to carry gang, welcome back, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all definitely smashing it, man. Y'all showing that love. I appreciate y'all once again. I keep this channel going and growing. So this is gonna be me today, just chit chatting about a little stuff as y'all can see from the title of the video. I did uh got did a little ammo haul, you know what I mean? Got some uh nine mil ammo, just a little typical uh range target ammo. And uh I did get a little lock box or whatever that I want to talk about and uh let you guys see uh what size firearms can fit in there and everything like that. So I do have like you know full size compact, sub compact and what they would be considered micro compact. And uh, yeah, just to see, um, show you guys how everything fits in that, and uh, just talk about it, you know, in general, whatever. So with that, without, you know, without further ado, we can go ahead and get straight to it. Um, what we're going to start with first is the ammo haul. So I went to Shoot Point Blank, and they did have a deal going on. So they had a deal, a little, like what I want to say, like a flash sale between like uh, I think the 28th and August 1st. And they uh, sell them for $27.99 a box. So I did go ahead and get four boxes. Uh, I got three boxes of this, uh, this uh, what they call a drilling in, precision, a drilling in, uh, precision series. Um, yeah, so I have shot this in the range before, or whatever, like they're pretty good. So I like to put these rounds to uh, my um, my firearms or whatever. they pretty pretty good pretty good ammo man not too bad Do 115 grand let's see what's gonna focus let's see all right there we go 115 grand uh, i'll show you guys what this look right here real quick just case you guys haven't saw this ammo before so just like i say typical little little range ammo or whatnot you know nothing too special so I did grab three boxes of those. I just picked up 200 rounds. I mean, why not? I might go back and uh, get some more. And this here is called, I don't even know the name of it. I mean, maybe y'all know. But I'm not gonna even try to pronounce it, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is this, this made in Turkey. So some Turkish ammo, as you guys can see. Made in Turkey. And they sell it here in the US. And this is 124 grand. So this is a little bit more hard hitting. Um, actually, when I shot this ammo, I shot this ammo and this one was setting off like a, I actually shot it through my canic actually, and it was sound like a, off a, it, it, it sent off some sparks when it came out the barrel. I don't know if it was, uh, I don't know if it's the ammo or if it's because I didn't clean my uh, firearm before I took it to the range, but yeah, I, I only shot this really through my uh, through my Kenneg. I didn't put these rounds through like any of my other firearms yet. But yeah, and actually, it's like a little bit bigger than uh. Let's see something. Uh, no, they're the same size. They're the same size. Yep. But yeah, this one right here packs a little bit more of a punch. Uh, there we go. Yep. But they both nine mil, so yeah, like I said, I picked up that, and I might go back and pick up maybe four more boxes. Who knows, man? You can't never have too many. Uh, Twenty-seven ninety-nine a box to me, that's not bad compared to ammo, what ammo prices are. And I know some places that still charging outrageous for the ammo prices. And uh, in case y'all didn't know, I do live in uh, Illinois, and I do stay in Cook County. And in Cook County, they do have a five cent per round uh, tax on all center fire uh what they consider center fire ammo oh just i believe all ammo for that matter i don't know but all i know is <laughs> you go to certain uh you know gun stores in cook county they do charge that five cent per tax so i go outside of cook county to buy my ammo that just that's just me you know what i'm saying so if you live in illinois you live in cook county you see this video you I mean to each his own if you got the means to travel outside of cook county do what you gotta do or if you don't mind paying the five six five cent per round tax, then by all means go ahead and do it. But it's outrageous to me, but we ain't gonna get into all of that and what we're here for. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh get to this. So this is a trek light. 
Trek, light, lockbox, snap safe. You know what I'm saying? So this is a little more information on the back of it. By no means am I sponsored by any of these people that are destroying y'all. Just, you know, I spend my own hard earned money on this crap. So I appreciate if y'all like, subscribe, and comment on these videos so we can, uh, yeah, keep this content up. So, yeah, so it says it comes with a metal key. You know, it says TSA approved. So if you are in a, in a, uh, if you are looking for something, you know, that you would like to fly with or something like that, like a lockbox. There we go, right here it says right on the back. TSA approved, you know what I'm saying? And it's only tw it's only 30 bucks, you know what I'm saying? I got this from Shoe Point Blank as well. And I, I'm sure almost every place you go there, probably around the same thing. It has your cable. I'm assuming that's what you have to use when you fly. You gotta have that cable. I'm not sure, I never flown with a firearm before, so I, I don't, don't quote me on that. You know what I mean? You have to do your own research. But I know it says TSA approved, as you guys can see right here. Um, yeah, it says, yeah, it said this 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 uh this security cable is rated for fifteen hundred pounds or whatever like that. So it's pretty strong. They say it's real durable. It says fits up to full size nineteen eleven firearms. Uh, let's start. I just let y'all take a real good read at it. You can pause the video if you need to. All right, so let's just go ahead and unbox this thing, man. See what it, see how this thing is, man. So yeah, I believe that, you know, everybody should have one of these little lockboxes, man. You know what I mean? Like, especially if you, you know, I have my several reasons on why you should have one of these. You know, if you ever got to go inside a place where you can't carry your firearm, which I don't know too many places that's like that, but there's a lot of them out here. You don't want to leave inside your glove, in your glove department or whatever like that. You know, you can um, have something like so. That way you can uh, store it up in there and God forbid somebody do break in your car. I doubt that they'd be able to open this thing. Who knows? I don't know, but it, it is nice little quality. You know, feels good. Just feel like some rubber. Uh, this is hard plastic and uh, rubber, I feel like. But let's see. So, this is what it comes with. There's your key and your rubber. Let's see, let's get y'all up. So it comes with cable lock and your key for it. This nice little padding up on here. You know what I mean? Let me take this little yellow piece off. Actually, it's come like double padded, as you guys can see. Maybe triple padded, let's see. Nope, just double padded. Maybe that's top and bottom that's like that. Yep, top and bottom. That's double padded. So yeah. So like I said, it does come with your um with your cable. I don't even know how to use this thing because I never used this before. But uh I will figure it out. Go to the key. Okay, so this. I don't know what this, what this cable part is for. But uh, I haven't got the box, let's see. Oh, so this goes on the inside of it. So, from the looks, in case you guys can see the box, it shows you right there, so. I'm assuming that this goes in on this part here. You see that little part right there? It goes on the inside like so. Then you close it down like that. And I guess that keeps it. No. I don't know what that part would be for, but who knows? I had to do my uh I had to do my due diligence and do my research on it. Like that said, this this ain't uh you know a professional review or nothing like that. So but it is locked in, it's all good, so. I guess that keeps somebody from breaking into it, I suppose. I, I believe that's what that cable is for. It keeps somebody, keep people from breaking into your, uh, your box. So. Yep, so, as far as firearms and how it will fit, let's test that out. Show you guys what fits and what. 
So all my fire herbs have been cleared before the video, so don't be freaking out. You know what I'm saying? But just to, yeah. As you guys can see, nothing up in there. Okay, so we're gonna start with the supposedly micro compact SIG P365X. So I'll show you guys how this fits. In which it does fit just right. So of course you can have this and another, you know, if you want to have a magazine up in the right with it, there you go. You know what I mean? You can have one magazine in there, have your spare right here. It actually probably can fit one, two, maybe three. You put one up that way and then add a couple more. We still got room to put, you know, additional stuff if you want. But we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna close it up. Close just fine. Lock it, no gaps, anything like that on it, as you guys can see. I'm just simulating it as if it were locked. So that's why I'm holding it down. All right, there you go. So that's that. Now we're going to go to the subcompact Block 43. X, right? Put that in. It almost fit almost the exact same way. And like you said, close it up. Bam. No problem. All right. Now, we're going to go to the car pack, Glock 19. All right. Empty, of course. As you guys can see. It fits, right? Let me close that up. Same thing. It fits, right? Okay, so as we can see, it fits those size firearms. Now we're going to go to a more full size firearm, right? Whatever we consider full size. It is empty. All right. Bam. That fits, right? It's my mechanic. Now we're gonna close it up. Fits like a charm, okay? No man that poking up like this, I'm just simulating. It being closed all the way locked, okay? But there you go. So yeah, it's a quick little review of it. It is nice and sturdy. It does uh, hold various different size of firearms, as you can see. It held my Canic, full size Canic, or supposedly full size Canic. Compact Glock 19, subcompact 43X, and then the micro compact 365X. So, there you go. And it will hold, like I said, an additional magazine if you need it. You all good to go. So, I mean, like I said, if you're going to a place where you can't bring your firearm or whatever case that may be, if your workplace don't allow it, lock it on up in here. Stuff this up under your seat in your trunk, wherever you feel comfortable with that. At least you know that God forbid somebody break into your car and they take this, they won't be getting it out. As long as you got this cable lock in and you have this box locked, they won't be able to get it out. So you'll be all good with that one. You know? You'll be all good with that. So as you can see, nice and locked. So you know what? Just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna go on here. I'm gonna put the full size. Put the full size up in there. And we're gonna lock it up. We're gonna lock it up. But the we're gonna act as this is an additional magazine, right? So we're gonna go ahead and lock it up without the cable first. Bam. So as you can see, it's locked. Just without the cable. Got a little weight on it. It's locked though. You know what I'm saying? Six plus, like I say, you know. Ain't no gap in it or not, nothing like that. It's just real plus. Well, nobody be able to just, you know, they can try to, they can try to get in. You know what I'm saying? They can try, but they won't be able to. And like I say, so now we're gonna put the cable on. But I believe that's what that cable is for. So now we're gonna put the cable on. Right? And we're gonna lock it up. Okay. 
Super secure now. See what I'm saying? Super secure. And I know you don't supposed to have it hanging off like this. I'm sure you probably gotta wrap it around, do something like that. You know what I mean? But I'm just showing y'all just for quick little demonstration purposes. There we go. So yeah, man. So it works. Um, like I said, that was just a quick little little video, little chit chat. I just want to give you all. Or whatever like, like that um yeah so without that without further ado we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video um as always man stay safe stay pro choice stay proud to carry and don't never say what you don't need because you never know what you need unless you need it and uh also stay tuned man i got some stuff coming out way man i'm not gonna say what it is just know that <laughs> i got a lot of heat coming y'all way man for sure so yeah, man, like I always tell y'all, man, if you, if you, you know, suggest anything on these videos, man, go ahead, drop in the comment section. I'm going to do my best to give y'all what y'all asking for, and we're going to go ahead and keep this channel going and growing, man. So, with all that being said, peace out. Love y'all, man. Stay safe.